it's a mess. Which way? Everybody thinks I'm weird. What's good YouTube, welcome back to Grim. Today I have a treat for you. I have found something that I did not realize existed. This is a lost episode of To Catch a Predator with Chris Hansen, where they ended up feeling so sorry for this schmuck that they never actually aired the episode, which is insane to me. Like someone who's out here talking to kids on the internet that shouldn't be and gets caught. I don't care how sad they are. You gotta show that freaking episode and humiliate them, all right? So yeah, that's what we have in store today. I don't wanna waste too much time, so let's get right into it. Heads up, I do apologize for the quality. I could only find it in 360, but trust me, the video is still glorious despite it looking like a Minecraft painting at times. So anyways, let's get into it. Hey, come on in. You found the house okay? You're Jenna? Yeah. You look different than the pictures. So yeah, that's what we're starting with. If that's any indicator of how weird this freaking guy is, he's pulling up in his best outfit that he could possibly conjure up for this occasion. And that is his cosplay of looking like the Undertaker from WWE, bro. Or some sort of like 50 year old rancher that's just went and spent a bag at TJ Maxx or something. Like, dude, you're really doing this first of all. And then second of all, you're coming here in a cowboy hat with cowboy boots on. Surprised you don't have freaking spurs, bro. This is not an outfit anyone should wear, but it makes sense a creep like this would be wearing it. But yeah, I'm gonna fast forward through the little chit chat here. We don't really need to hear it. Let's skip to the good part where uh, Mr. Hansen steps in here. The reveal is always the best freaking part of this show. Hey Tex, how you doing? How you doing? Why don't you come over here and have a seat at the school, please? Yeah, I kind of think I'm gonna figure about it. No, no, no. What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing? I don't know what it is about this lighting or this set they use, but this really looks like a freaking Tim and Eric skit or something right now. I cannot buy this dude's outfit for one second, but hey, that's his drip. That's what he thinks is fashionable. I just know he's crapping his Wranglers right now. So now he's caught in the trap. He's officially knowing he's most likely going to jail at this point and going to be aired on TV as the creep that he is. So let's see his reaction and how he handles this. You know what? I have nothing to look for anyway. What do you mean? <laughs> Life's a mess. Why is it a mess? <laughs> this kid had to have done theater in high school. I just know it. Those are the worst fake tears I've ever seen. Did you see that transition there? He realizes he's caught. He's kind of in shock. And, uh, you know, when you're in that state, you don't really know what's going on. And then it finally starts to hit him. And he's like, okay, I got to act on this. What should I do? Oh, let me just cry and say, I'm a worthless sack of crap. I shouldn't have done this. Oh, man, I'm so depressed. Like, bro, I don't care how sad you are. Nobody's so sad to the point that they start DMing 12 year olds. All right. You're a creep and you just got caught. Sucks to be you. Hey, really quick, there's a large chunk of you guys that aren't subscribed to my videos. So if you wanna do that really quick, if you're enjoying this one, it would help me out so much as well as leave a like and comment and join the Grim Squad officially. I appreciate all you guys watching. And anyways, let's go back into the video. I failed high school. I, I have no motivation to finish it. None of the pills are about work. What do you do for a living? I don't have a job. <laughs> oh my god, it's it really is pathetic. Like you might be feeling bad for the guy, but you need to keep in mind the reason he's on this show and the reason you're even aware of his existence right now. He was speaking with a 12 year old and went over to their house with very ill intentions, obviously. And they know this because he's been DMing with this fake 12 year old decoy for days at this point. And yeah, they go over that later. I'm going to skip it. But this guy definitely is a grade A creep, like the classic case. OK, don't let the fake tears sway you in another direction. All right. Do not feel bad for this guy. That doesn't make it OK. I got to tell you, I was pretty taken back when you tossed that knife into the cowboy hat. And this is kind of a funny moment here. You could actually see Chris Hansen really has a mini freak out for a second when he reaches into his back pocket. He thought this was going to go dark in about two seconds. Maybe that guy had a plan B, you know, loaded up in the back of his pocket, if you get what I mean. And still, it was kind of creepy because he pulls out a freaking knife and just tosses it in his hat. But I guess that's good. He did not get caught by the cops with that on him. Still, why are you bringing that around, bro? I know weirdos like you like to carry knives around in their pockets because you feel tough and you never know when you might need to use it because you think you live in some sort of anime where violent things are happening to you all the time despite the only time you actually leave your house is to go to McDonald's but yeah that's a that's a pretty sketchy thing for him to be coming to do this and having a knife on him so maybe that's an extra charge who knows might be an extra couple months for you in the slammer buddy how far did you drive today an hour hour and a half hour and a half and how many other times have you done this 
Never. This dude's down bad. Obviously, you're down bad if this is the type of people you're talking to on the internet. I have to keep restating that, but an hour and a half, wow. Maybe he was arriving by tractor because he's really trying to live out this cowboy persona. I don't know, but uh, that is a long haul to go see someone. And another thing I want you to notice, this entire time he's crying, I know it's kind of hard to see because of the resolution of this video, but not a single tear is ever spilled. This is total just theatrics right here. Again, it's really bad acting actually, but apparently it's pulling at Chris's heartstrings because you can see he's kind of going into dad mode here and trying to speak to him on a very like human level. Like, why are you doing this, bud? I know you're sad, but uh, th these types of words you're exchanging with this, you know, would be 12 year old are, are really inappropriate. Why are you saying that, buddy? Like, no, dude, you should be grilling this dude and telling him he's about to go to jail for being a creep. Ugh, look at the way I, way I dress and stuff. Nobody, everybody thinks I'm weird. <laughs> well, the only weird thing I see is that you're trying to with a 12 year old girl. And apparently he's oddly self-aware at his weird attire. Maybe it's just something that's, uh, you know, a personality trait for him to be wearing Undertaker cosplay, like I said. But if you know people are thinking you're weird for wearing this stuff, maybe change a different outfit and stop talking to 12 year olds, weirdo. I was taking 330, so I was taking 180 a day. That's a lot of Adderall. And then he shifts his uh, blame from the depression to the medication that he's put on because of these mental issues. So he was put on Adderall for something. And uh, the dosage that he just explained, for those of you that don't know anything about it, is... <laughs> That's enough to make a horse wired for like a week, bro. Like that is a lot to be taking in a day. I get that that might be affecting his mental state, but again, it is no excuse for what he is doing. And it also is not gonna get him out of this situation. He thinks if he fake cries enough and talks enough about his bad mental health, it will get him out of this. But there are certain things that are inexcusable due to, you know, mental issues. This guy is clearly able to know what is right and wrong. You know, he knows that his outfit is very wrong and hurts our eyes to look at and makes us want to make fun of him. Yet he still wears it. So that's his issue. He still does things when he knows they're wrong. Mental issues aside, bro, you're you're really messing up here. I don't. I, I sat on the floor and I cried last night, the other night to my mom. I said I don't want to feel like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't watch much Seinfeld growing up, but you know, like the fat sidekick on Seinfeld, I, I'm really seeming like I'm just ignorant to older things, but that dude, you know what I'm talking about? He really reminds me of him in this clip. Like this looks like bad sitcom acting of crying. He's even got the squeaky inflection thinking that's helping sell the bit, but no, dude, you are backed into the corner. You got to just fess up to your wrongdoings. I, I take no glee in any of I'm this. Sure. I got two boys, you know, <laughs> so man to man, will you look at me for a minute? Will you promise to get some help? Please. This. And this is where you can really see that for some reason it's working on Chris Hansen and he actually feels incredibly bad for this guy. Now, maybe I just lack empathy, but these types of people are the people I feel you should never have any empathy for. Again, it's an inexcusable act what he was going over to that house to do. So I think you're a bit of a weirdo if you're really empathizing with this guy, but you know, it pulled on his heartstrings because he has two boys of his own and he just thinks this is a young lost guy that doesn't really know what to do with his life and is dealing with a lot of stuff, which may be true, but it doesn't change the fact that that he's about to walk out into an ambush from cops. He knows it's coming, we all know it's coming. Let's see this resolution of him getting arrested, the sweet, sweet ending of this lost episode. Which way? <laughs> I feel so bad for laughing. No, I don't. I don't feel bad for laughing. I always say that, but this time I don't feel bad. Stop saying that, Chase. I feel good for laughing because this shot is comedic gold. He's just walking away, sobbing, sadly being handed his coat, knowing that he's about to be arrested for a felony and get put on a registry, like I said. He just knows his life is about to pretty much fall apart even more. <laughs> and he's wearing this outfit. I cannot get over it. It's too perfect. They should have aired this, you know. It would have gotten millions of views. So luckily he complies and we get this great shot of him being searched <laughs> where they're digging through his cowboy boots. Oh my God, I know I'm harping on this outfit the entire video, but that really is one of the funniest parts of it, aside from his obvious fake crying. So <laughs> that's pretty much the story of the lost episode of To Catch a Predator, where they felt so bad for this idiot that they actually didn't air it. Now, I don't think that was a great choice. I would have aired it regardless because uh, obviously we got to expose these creeps. 
Let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments below. And if you want me to try to find more episodes of this show, I think I might have done it in the past, but you know, it would have been a long time ago now. So I'm sure there's some great episodes for me to go through. As always, I appreciate you watching until the very end. And until next video, peace out.